I'm giving away $10 cash to a random winner in the comments of my most recent giveaway video, and every time that video gets another 10,000 views, we're going to have another winner. So all you need to do to enter is click the link below and watch the video. Hi again then guys, and welcome to another installment of the Beards and Cars podcast, which of course you can grab in its audio-only form via the link below, and as you saw from the title and the thumb of this video, this is a little bit of a different kind of predictions video, because typically I would predict uh, new circuits or new cars for GT Sport, maybe for the future of the series in general, and I know that many of you do enjoy those episodes, and quite a few of those predictions, especially when it comes to the silhouettes, have come true in the game. Some of the more abstract ones have as well, such as the Ford GT. Now though, we're looking to the future again, but this time I'm getting really specific. The trailer for GT7. Now, I'm using GT7 as a temp title, if you will, because we don't absolutely know that the next one's going to be called that, but let's just say it is for the sake of this discussion. So, these are my predictions for 15 things which I believe we will see in that trailer. Now, some of these are, I would say, pretty safe bets. Other ones, perhaps, a little bit more of a risk, but we're going to have kind of a game of bingo with the trailer. And of course, we still don't know when that first trailer will be. It could even be a teaser. So when I say predicting the trailer, I'm talking about like a, a, an official full trailer, not like the headlight of a LaFerrari in a shadow. I mean, like a full on trailer like we had for GT Sport. Now, for this particular pick, as I said, we've got 15 and I'm going to run through them in a relatively quick manner, so let's get straight into it. Now, speaking of the Ford GT, that is actually my very first prediction. I believe that in the GT7 trailer, we will see the 2017 shape Ford GT. It's way too important of a car not to have in the trailer because, of course, it was one of the most significant cars to be added to GT Sport so far. Probably my most significant prediction to be added because it was such a popular car. So many people love it already in Forza and probably a couple of other games as well. But in GT Sport, it is a massive deal to have it there. Because, of course, the GT40 and the GT have always been a strong part of the franchise as well. I mean, it was the cover car of GT4. It wouldn't actually surprise me if they have a Ford GT as the cover of GT7. I mean, imagine a throwback to GT4. A white 2017 Ford GT with two black stripes on a white box. I think that would look pretty awesome. I don't think they will do that, but that would be pretty cool. So my first prediction is just that. The Ford GT... 2017. My next prediction is a track. I believe that they will show Le Mans. Specifically, of course, Circuit de la Sarte in the trailer. And sometimes, if I recall correctly, for instance, in GT Sport, they used some real-world footage of that track rather than in-game footage for obvious reasons, because of course it took them about six months for that to actually be in the game. I believe that for GT7, we will see the in-game track within the trailer. And as far as these predictions go, incidentally, all of these are in-game. I'm not talking about real-world footage. My third prediction is the Audi R18, in particular the newest model that we have in GT Sport, the much boxier, of course, hybrid generation. I believe that that car will be in the trailer, and I believe we will see it racing possibly at Le Mans, for obvious reasons, against one or two other prototypes as well, most likely a Peugeot 908, and my fourth prediction, a Toyota TS50. I believe we will see that in the trailer. Of course, they love Toyota, they have a strong relationship with them, and they're going to continue that. It, they're kind of working with Toyota now, as they used to work with Nissan. Gran Turismo had an amazing relationship with Nissan. Clearly, Toyota has taken precedent over that now, so don't be at all surprised if you get TS50 footage in the trailer. Probably on Le Mans again, against that Audi. Next up, I'm actually keeping it within the world of Toyota because, again, just like the Ford GT, this would be far too significant of a vehicle to the franchise not to feature. I believe that in some form or another, perhaps even multiple forms, we will see the new Supra in the trailer. The A90 generation, the road car, I would say is pretty much definite, possibly even a racing one. The Group 3 version, for instance, I believe that that will be in the trailer, or just the Supra in its newest form overall, in other words. My next prediction goes back to the world of circuits. In fact, my next two predictions are both circuit-based. I believe that we will see 
Laguna Seca. Because, of course, with Kaz's comments about how the live events and the younger players enjoying the older games kind of made him reevaluate his opinion of the past of the franchise, where he hasn't really looked back in many ways. And although I disagree with that fundamentally as a creator, I do at the same time understand him. It, it is a common thing for creators not really to look back, but to constantly look to the future. Even myself, for instance, I don't tend to look back on the channel much. I'm always looking forward. However, I think there is a fine line between appreciating where you've come from and drawing from that and not leaving those people behind. For instance, there are still series that I do on this channel that cater to the people who were here from day one back in Gran Turismo 6. So still doing that kind of stuff I think is important to not just develop a new fan base, but to remain loyal to the existing people who in effect made you what you are. Because if you don't do that, it really is a bad business move and kind of a dick move on a personal level as far as I'm concerned. So I believe they will show Laguna Seca in the trailer. Of course, it's the most significant recent circuit added to the game. Of course, it looks stunning. It's a hugely important circuit to the franchise as a whole. So yeah, I mean, I would almost say that this is one of the most guaranteed things to see in that trailer. Next up, though, we have another circuit probably even more of a fan favorite from recent years, definitely doesn't have the the historical cache of Laguna Seca though, and that is of course Spa. I believe that Spa will be in the trailer, and of course all of this depends on if they retain licensing rights, and those were an issue with Spa, but I think that they will probably have it in there. Next up, I'm actually picking out the only Vision GT car that I'm going to predict will be in that trailer. I believe that a couple of them probably will. I believe a Mazda LM55 could quite easily be in there, maybe even a Hyundai N2025, but the one Vision GT car which I'm putting my money on the most is the Bugatti. I believe the Bugatti Vision GT, the pre-production Chiron, if you will, will be in that trailer again, because Gran Turismo seems very proud of that Bugatti. Of course, on the street, Bugatti is still a name to be reckoned with, and on the track, thanks to that car, it's pretty great as well. My next two picks, though, move to the world of rallying. And of course, the future of rallying in Gran Turismo is not necessarily a sure thing. It wouldn't necessarily surprise me, for instance, if they scrapped all of the rally cars that we have in the current game and moved to something different, like traditional WRC. But I do think that they will probably carry over most, if not all, of those Group B cars. To that end, I believe we will see at least two rally cars in the trailer. I believe we will see the most historically significant rally car in the game, of course the Audi Quattro, and my next prediction ties into that because I believe that in particular they will also feature the Mitsubishi Evo 10 rally car in a white livery most likely. I believe they also did that for GT Sport, and I think that many of these things that I have in mind were kind of done in GT Sport, but again it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of this stuff was carried over with just a few extra bits of stuff peppered in there, such as the Ford and the, the new Supra of course, which were not in there at GT Sport's launch. My next prediction is a very significant one, and this one, I believe, could even go beyond what I've said. Because, of course, second only to Toyota's involvement in Gran Turismo now is Porsche. They are clearly very proud of having Porsche finally a part of the franchise. In fact, Polyphony seems to actually be more happy about having Porsche in there than when they first got Ferrari involved back in the day, because for so many years, many of us wanted Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Maserati. We finally got them, but they don't seem quite as proud or quite as involved with any of those three companies, certainly not Maserati, as they are with Porsche. Having these newer vehicles, long-term news for the game, they're clearly very invested on both ends, Porsche and Polyphony, in making this a bigger and better friendship. And to that end, I believe we are guaranteed to see a minimum of one Porsche in the trailer, probably more than one. Would not surprise me if we had the Vision GT Porsche, for instance, in there, but since we haven't even seen that one yet, I'm not putting that as an official prediction. What I am putting as my prediction, though, is a 911 GT3 RS one of the couple of different GT3s that we have in the game, probably the newest one, I believe that that car will be in the trailer. And as a slight addendum to that, I'm going to say that it would not surprise me at all to see a Taycan 
in the trailer as well, because again, it's a very different kind of Porsche. Next up, I'm going with basically an old faithful pick, a very significant car to be in GT Sport that wasn't in any of the previous games, and it was in the game from launch, but unfortunately it was kind of a car that many people didn't get along that well with. I'm of course referring to the LaFerrari. I believe that the Ferrari LaFerrari will most likely be in the trailer, maybe even a newer one, like an FXXK, but I'm going to be a, a little bit safer and say LaFerrari. I could, for instance, fully see them having a, a LaFerrari racing against a 2017 Ford GT and maybe a, a Lamborghini of some kind on, for instance, Laguna Seca or Spa. That would not surprise me in the slightest. Next up, though, I'm picking an old favourite. One of the hero cars of GT6, a good car, but not necessarily as good in GT Sport, but a car that will still, I believe, be good in the next game as well. The C7 Stingray, the newest generation of Corvette that we have in Gran Turismo. We may even get a C8 in the trailer, but we'll have to wait and see. Of course, the Corvette has always been given a lot of respect in the Gran Turismo franchise. It's kind of one of those sleeper heroes, because all of the Corvettes are always very good in the game. So it wouldn't surprise me at all if the C7 is in the trailer as well. Speaking of fan favourites though, I'm actually going to kind of re-include a prediction that I made years ago on the channel, a prediction which turned out to be false actually primarily because GT Sport did not turn out to be a regular Gran Turismo game, and that was that I predicted that the new Honda NSX would be the hero car of the game, much as the C7 Stingray kind of felt like in GT6. That didn't happen, of course, but I do believe that the newer NSX will probably appear in the trailer. Again, wouldn't surprise me at all if it was alongside the new Supra in an event of some kind, maybe even alongside my final prediction, which is a car that, of course, you've always got to have in the trailer, the Nissan GTR. The Nissan GTR is all but guaranteed to be in there somewhere. Much like the Corvette, much like Polyphony's partnership with Toyota, Nissan, how strongly featured stuff like the Supra has always been, the GTR is just far too important to not feature. They may even feature a Skyline or two, you usually have some JDM footage in there, but we'll have to see on that front. I do, however, believe that a Skyline, or more specifically a GTR of the R35 generation, will be in the trailer. Could be the Premium, could be the Nismo, either way, I believe it will be one of those. But overall, that's it for my predictions. Plus, of course, a couple of bonus ones and a little bit of conjecture thrown in there as well as far as how we could see these vehicles. And of course, you could always go a little bit more out there and predict things that you think might be new rather than returning. For instance, you could predict that we'll see Daytona in the trailer, for instance, or maybe even a, a Koenigsegg of some kind. I didn't really want to go that crazy because as far as this prediction game goes, I wanted it to be, as I said, kind of like a game of bingo where you could tick off all the things on the list that appear in the trailer. And of course, it will be interesting to look back on this episode if and when we finally get that trailer to see how many of these predictions and also how many of your predictions below turned out to be true. And of course, the best way to find out is by not editing your comment <laughs> because anyone can just change their prediction over time. But overall, that's it for my predictions. Of course, tell me yours down below. You could be wacky, you could be more conservative as I have. So tell me down below what you think, cars, tracks, maybe even features that we'll see in the trailer. I think something like a livery editor as well would probably be showcased in there just to reassure players that it will still be in the game. But as I said, tell me your thoughts down below. And of course, stick around on the channel every Saturday for a new episode of this podcast. But until then, I'll see you next time. And for now, as always, thanks for watching.